You won state last year. <laughs> now, what are you returning this season and what are you most looking forward to? Well, I mean, I think we have a lot coming back in terms of, you know, we have six back on offense, basically seven back on defense. But at the end of the day, last year was last year. You know, we put that away a long time ago. We got back in the weight room on January the 7th and you know, we had a ring ceremony in April. Um, so all that's been done. Uh, you know, last year, like I said, that's why it says 2018, not 2019. It's a whole different year. Um, you know, for us this year, we, we, I, I've been very pleased with our off-season workouts. I've been very pleased with the kids' efforts so far. Uh, but what we have to do is understand we have to make our own um, story in 2019. You know, they, it all starts on Friday night, and uh, it, it's, it's about what you do this year. If you had the best year in the world as a junior and you don't do anything as a senior, nobody's going to care about that junior year. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I, I think our kids have done a really good job from January to now focusing and, and putting that in the back of their, you know, on the shelf, uh, literally, and, uh, you know, focusing on this year. What's the leadership look like? You know, those guys who have had that experience in tough games. Well, I, I think that our program is at the point now where, you know, the seniors that come up have learned from the past seniors. And uh, like I said, so far I've been extremely pleased with our leadership, extremely pleased with our culture, our team culture. And, uh, you know, now it's just a matter of is that going to pay off on the football field or not. What unit do you feel like has stood out the most for you during camp and in the offseason? Well, I think that, you know, I think our defense should be uh, a lot better better than it was last year and I felt like we had a pretty good defense last year but you know we, we have a tough task ahead of us the first game of the season we have Vance North Carolina coming in here uh, a, a big four a division four two a team out of North Carolina that were in a runner up last year in the highest division uh, they're ranked number 100 out of uh, all teams in the United States of America so they're pretty daggone good so we're gonna get a real test right off the bat at home uh, this this uh, this coming weekend but I think our defense is, it has a lot of uh, people back from last year uh, offensively, you know, we graduated our quarterback, but we have a sophomore quarterback in Cameron Burns. Uh, and I'm very excited about in his leadership. Um, so that's what's great about high school football. You don't get to go recruit. You know, you, you plug in the guys you have and you, you work them to death from, from January to July. And uh, you, you, you rely on your culture, you rely on your work ethic, and you rely on those kids to be leaders, like you said, that have been around. And then, obviously, on Friday, what an interesting test, you know, to start the season out with. A lot of teams don't schedule those, yeah. especially good ones out of town, but in other states for the reason that it's just tough. It's yeah. difficult. So what was the discussion behind that, and what made you guys want to do that? And I know you're doing a road test next year mm -hmm. in 2020. With well, them. you know, it, it's one of those things that we felt like that in order to be where you want to be with our program, where, where we want to go, you got to play really good football teams. And, you know, people look at it on paper and, Maybe, maybe they think we bit off more than we can chew, but, you know, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited for the opportunity. I'm excited for my guys. You know, they're about twice as big as us. They're about 22, 2,300 kids, and we're 1,100. Um, but you know what? It, it, it's better than going out here and, 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 and scheduling a game you know you can win. That's not going to make us any better. And uh, we've got a huge challenge. Uh, we're not going to back away from it. We're not going to be intimidated. But at the end of the day, we respect the crap out of uh, uh, Vance. We respect what they do, respect what they've done. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's 48 minutes. 11 people on the field at a time. Let's go play some football. We're excited about that opportunity.